As a government, you have been at the forefront of the aggression towards the Islamic State. That was the first time we heard the voice of the man known as Jihadi John, who for Western media would become the face of ISIS. Now he's been identified as Mohammed Mwazi. That's according to the BBC and the Washington Post, both of which reported Mwazi's identity early Thursday. He is a man, we believe, from London, uh, around 27 years of age. We don't have a lot of details about him. The BBC says the United Kingdom's MI5 security agency identified Mwazi as a person of interest since at least 2010, with links to the Somalia-based Al-Shabaab terrorist group. Close friends of Mwazi told the Washington Post he was raised in a middle-class neighborhood in West London and held a degree in computer programming. Speaking to CNN, a senior fellow with the Foundation for Defense of Democracies said Mwazi's profile was typical of terrorists. Terrorist groups in general, not just jihadist groups, uh, tend to recruit from people who, um, or, or tend to be comprised of people who are of higher socioeconomic status than the norm, people who are more well-educated than the norm. Shortly after the first video appeared, British media speculated the executioner's identity may have been another man known as Britain's hip-hop jihadist. A month later, the FBI announced they had identified who Jihadi John was without giving his name. Both British and American officials declined to comment on either of the BBC and Post stories. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.